11 home runs, 47 RBIs, 16 doubles, 71 hits, 57 runs scored, 45 walks that ranked sixth in the Frontier League in 66 games played, and also named to the Frontier League East All-Star team. Uh, had to ask you, you know, first and foremost, uh, AJ, uh, just how how satisfying, I mean, how rewarding is it that, you know, to see all your hard work paying off this season? Yeah, I mean, like you said, it's it's been paying off. Um, just happy to be helping the team, contributing where I can, and uh, hopefully no games. Hey, let's just uh, talk about uh, being named to the Frontier League uh, East All-Star team. What did that uh, mean to you personally, AJ, along with your teammate uh, Jacob Sanford, also on the East uh, All-Star team? Uh, the East defeating, you know, said um, the West 8-1. Uh, just just talk about the overall experience uh, uh, of playing in the All-Star game. Uh, it was great. Uh, first of all, to be recognized by by the rest of the league for, for how I played in the first half was awesome. Uh, and getting down to Washington PA for the All-Star game was awesome, too. There's a, a lot of good guys on, on our squad and a lot of deserving guys. Um, so it, it was a good experience to get to play with those guys for a day. And uh, thankfully, we got the win, too. So it was awesome. Yeah, no, definitely. Hey, putting that number seven jersey on, that the Titans jersey every time, whether it's at home or uh, on the road, uh, I'm wondering what that represents to you personally also, uh, AJ. Uh, yeah, it means a lot. I know it's been it's been a few years since Ottawa's had a team. So being able to represent the city uh, in a good way is – has been great so far. Uh, the city city's been behind us the whole way. Uh, got great fan support, so it's it's been a good ride so far. Yeah, I mean, forty three and twenty nine, won two games in a row, three games behind the Quebec Capitals. You know, uh, you know, I said for first place in the East Division, and now here a big three game set against the New York Boulders, a team that has won six in a row. We're here in the stretch run now as we, you know, gear up uh, towards the playoffs in September. Uh, I, I had to ask you, how, how good is it to be a part of a winning ball club? And again, uh, right there on the cusp of, uh, you know, said uh, being in first place as well, AJ. Yeah, it's, it's, that's been great too. I mean, uh, ever since opening day, we've been, we've been playing great baseball. Um, hopefully we can finish the job and catch Quebec before the regular season's over and take over first. But uh, we we just have our eyes set on the playoffs, hopefully make a, a deep run in the playoffs as well. It, it takes a, you know, a, a solid structure in terms of upper management and, of course, uh, the manager as well. I had to ask you about manager Bobby Brown, uh, clubhouse uh, manager Mark uh, LaDuke, uh, GM Martin uh, Boyce, uh, assistant GM Sebastian Boucher, uh, President uh, CEO Sam Katz and Vice President and Chief Operating Officer uh, Reagan Katz. Just can you talk about, uh, uh, I mean, again, this management, what they've meant in terms of uh, the support for the team? Right. Yeah, they've been they've been taking care of us all year. Um, being being there every day with Bobby as a head coach has been great too. He's he connects with the players. He it lets us know when we're not doing great and he's yeah. he's there to support us when we are so uh overall it's it's been a great great season having uh good supporting cast uh with every everyone in the locker room so it's uh it's been awesome so far yeah i talk about this club uh it said again it, it just seems like there there are guys across the board contributing you know to the team i uh, said what has it been you know just in the clubhouse you know, at home and on the road, just with this team, it just, you know, first season here. Can you talk about, uh, again, uh, just uh, having that cohesiveness, having that chemistry as well, uh, AJ? Yeah, it was it was something I noticed within the first couple of days of being here during spring training. Um, everyone seemed to get along and it's it's carried through the first seven years or so games. So uh, whether we have guys coming in and out, new guys, uh, that everyone seems to to connect and get along with each other uh, fairly quickly. So I think that's been a big a big part of our success this year is is liking each other as teammates, whether it's on the field in the locker room or even off the field during our free time. Yeah, no, I agree. And you talked about the uh, 
the city, uh, you know, of Ottawa. How about uh, the fans support from them uh, at the home games uh, also, uh, AJ? Yeah, even uh, even with the weather not looking great, sometimes we still get a, yeah. a solid turnout. Um, it's it's great every night. Get a couple thousand fans. Uh, they're all cheering. It's it's awesome when we can win for them and and hear them cheer, hear them get loud when we win, and uh, just have our support throughout the year too. Yeah, I, I had to ask you, you know, preparing for the twenty twenty two season. I mean, there's a lot that goes into it for a ball player in terms of strength and conditioning, nutrition, uh, just mental health. It's a it's a rigorous schedule when you you know you're compacted into about four months. I would say not even that in terms of how many games you play. I'm just wondering, in terms of what you know, I said during spring training, heading into the, the season opener, but even now during the course of the season, what you do on a daily basis in terms of preparing for a, a game as well, AJ. Yeah. So in the off season, I mean, we got to, got to take some time to recover from the previous season mm -hmm. uh, and then just kind of building it up as April comes around, making sure our bodies are good for the 96 games we play. Uh, yeah. Spring training, there's some conditioning stuff we do, uh, again, just to get our bodies ready and then getting a, getting a workout in when you can during the season. I mean, we're here 10, 10 hours a day, so there's, there's some time to get some, some workout, get a good a meal in and, and all that stuff. I mean, we've got to do our best to take care of our bodies. Uh, sometimes it gets hard to do that, but, I mean, we got to do what we got to do here. Yeah. I had to ask you, AJ, about those uh, bus trips, you know, <laughs> and when, you know, maybe if you even flown and then also playing those uh, early morning games after a, a night game, and that's not easy to do. I'm just wondering how you've been able to cope with that as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's a tough one, tough turnaround when we finish later at night and then have an early game the next morning, but uh make sure we get our sleep and hydrate, eat something, get something in our bodies just to, to make sure we're ready to go every day. Yeah, no, it, it's, uh, it's essential. Hey, I, you know what? So much has been made of technology today and how it, it aids, you know, players in terms of improving their skill set, their fundamentals, and, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, of course, as an infielder or at the plate, I'm just wondering how you've been able to tap into that AJ. Uh, we we take a look at some of the stuff every once in a while. Um, I know some guys are more into it than others, but wherever we can get get the upper hand in with that technology, we we try to use it to the best of our abilities, and and uh, hopefully it works out for us. But I mean, yeah. if it doesn't, there's always more we can do. Uh, whether it's with technology or without, either way, it's uh, just making sure we can play our best ball every night. Yeah. I know every player sometimes has their superstitious rituals or something that they do, you know, to, to get ready, you know, set for a game. I'm wondering if you have any uh, AJ that you incorporate, you know, said, uh, you know, leading up to, to game day. Hello, AJ. Hello. Hello, AJ. Hello. Hello. Oh, okay. Sorry about. I don't know if you heard the I think I lost you for a second. What was yeah. The, the no, I was just gonna. Yeah, I was just gonna ask you if you had any superstitious rituals or anything leading up to game day. Some players have that. You know, I'm just wondering if you do as well. <laughs> I just had to ask you about that. Yeah, uh, I, kinda, I try to get here at the same time every day, just make sure I'm, I'm doing how much I put into it, but uh, just making sure I stay on the, the same schedule, whether it's just hanging out or uh, getting a good stretch in. I try to do the same thing, maybe switch it up a little if I'm not, not hitting as well or if we're not playing our best. It's great. That's great. Hey, I just have a couple more uh, left. AJ. Yeah. So it's something yeah. up, but most, most of the days it's, it's the same routine. 
Yeah, yeah. Just have a couple more left, AJ. Can't thank you for the time, Bob. Uh, I had to ask you about your previous stops, you know, before uh, here before you joined the Ottawa Titans, uh, going back to last year with the Missoula Paddleheads in the Pioneer League that won a championship. Uh, uh, and then before that, in 2020, you played for Scouts in the All-American Baseball Challenge. Uh, I had to ask you about those experiences and what, you know, in terms of helping you, you know, just keep fresh, you know, playing baseball uh, on a consistent basis. Yeah, I mean, that, that first year I had was during the, the COVID year. It got tough having to wait around for a little bit, uh, mm -hmm. not knowing if we were going to play. Possibly not ever playing again, just by the way. Uh, COVID was going, but that was that was a good experience in 20 with Missoula last year in the Pioneer League. Was guys were great. Um, yeah, Bobby Brown was our hitting coach there, so so having okay. to be with him for that month. And all this year was it was it's been awesome. It's great, it's great. Hey, before, before that, that um, uh, you attended and graduated at UMBC. Uh, it said you you were definitely able to flourish on the field there, uh, playing for the Retrievers. I, I had to ask you about that, uh, especially starting out in 2016, finishing up in 2019. Um, especially that uh, first year, I think you started in all 51 games. Had a fielding percentage of 966. Uh, talk about your experience there, earning America East All Conference, you know, first team honors, 15 multi-hit games. Uh, uh, what, what? Just talk about it. the fact that you chose, you know, UMBC or Pittsburgh, VCU, and Longwood. Uh, just talk about your overall journey there at UMBC, uh, AJ. Yeah, it was great. It was a, a great four years. I'm glad I made made that decision. Um, being able to start as a freshman was also one of the big, big check marks on my list. So thankful to be able to do that and play there all four years. Um, did a, got a championship in 2017. So it was, uh, it was very much worth, uh, worth it to go there. And uh, Liam Bowen, the, the head coach now is, was a great, great coach to have for four years. I uh, really, he was the one who recruited me. So it's, uh, Glad he was able to to bring me on and uh, help the help the team win. Yeah, that that, that number seven uh, jersey, AJ. It, it's I, I'm telling you, it works. You know what is? I, I know I asked yeah. you earlier about that number, but it's uh, it's definitely you know panned out very well for you. <laughs> I had to ask you about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah uh, growing up, I was always. I was always number 26 and then that okay. that wasn't available when I got to UMBC yeah. so I uh just had number 7 and I've stuck with it since and I think it's yeah. like you said it's worked out yeah. pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely like magic. That's awesome. Mate. Okay, before that, I said from Cherry Hill, New Jersey, attended Cherry Hill West High School, played baseball for all 4 years, named to the all-conference first team for all 4 years. You hold the career hits record with 126. Well, I mean, that that's just, you know, fantastic. I mean, just being able to, you know, again, uh, just, you know, from day one, the fact that you were able to put up those kind of uh, numbers. Just talk about your four years at uh, Cherry Hill West High School. Yeah, that, that was uh, one of the decisions where we can choose whether to go to Cherry Hill West or Cherry Hill East, regardless of where we lived in the town. Mm -hmm. um, a couple of my friends were going to Cherry Hill West for baseball as well, so I chose to go there, and the head coach, Dan McMaster, had, had good faith in me from the start, so, so that was good to get, get my feet wet, get uh, playing, I think, every game as a freshman as well, so mm -hmm. uh, that four years was great. We had, had some success there, and it was, it was a great time. 
Okay, let me ask you about senior year. I mean, your 100th career hit was a grand slam. You went three for four with six RBIs. I mean, that, that's just magnificent. Just talk about uh, that game, that particular game, and just what it meant to you. I mean, the fact that you were just being able to put up monstrous numbers and just, you know, uh, again, just really uh, that, that again, to see your 100th career hit, you know, end up with a grand slam, AJ. Yeah, that, that was exciting, to say the least. I mean, we were in, um, I think, South Carolina at the time in Myrtle Beach. So it would, it would have been nice to get it done at home, but having having my family there and the, the rest of the team there to congratulate me and be there for me was was awesome. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to leave out also named, you know, to the perfect game underclass uh, All-American, a two-time New Jersey underclass game participant, three-time Carpenter Cup uh, selection. Talk about those achievements as well, AJ. That, uh, again, just uh, just tremendous. So what, what did that mean to you as well? I think just looking back on it now, it's it's awesome to see see the guys I played with, played against. Uh, there's a handful of guys in the in the MLB now that I played with or against. So uh, yeah, it's it's nice to know that I was I was right up there with them for the time being. And uh, in the same company as them. Hello, AJ? Oh, I think I lost you. Down here, can you hear me? Yeah, it's just a little bit. It's, it's like, you know, it freezes up and then it uh, uh, the sort of the sound goes away. Yeah, I can hear you now. Uh, hey, just uh, when it comes to the game of baseball, You've been playing for so long. What are some of the intangibles that stand out to you that makes you, you know, I mean, of course you have that, that passion for the game and you obviously obviously want to, you know, play it, you know, year after year. What what is that, you know, just what is it about the game that really like, you know, makes it special to play? I think, I think the biggest thing is just the, the camaraderie playing with, playing with the same guys nearly every day, uh, Mm -hmm. seeing the guys all the time and, uh, just being able to have fun playing too. I mean, it's, I obviously can't play forever. So yeah. in the meantime, while I am playing, I like to, to enjoy, just have as, have as much fun as possible and uh, hopefully win some championships while I'm still, still playing. Yeah, no, definitely. Hey, we've seen a bunch of New Jersey players in the frontier league, including yourself. And it's great to see now players getting drafted, you know, uh, in major to major league baseball teams. Talk about the talent level the, that has come from New Jersey and to see it, you know, go right toe to toe with other big states, California, Florida, Texas, New Jersey. I mean, uh, is just, again, right up there in the in the top 10. Just just talk about that as well. Yeah, I think I think growing up, we were we were a little underrated as a state just because we're we're in the northeast. It's a cold climate in the winter, so we can't really get outside too much. but. Mm-hmm. Uh, just knowing a bunch of guys, I know there's a, a ton of them who work hard, uh, obviously, to get get that recognition and uh, have success playing. So I think it's I think we're s- still on the like starting to get on the map and all that. I think it's yeah. it's great seeing all these people out in New Jersey do do good things. Hey, what, what, what is that feeling coming back? You know, of course, uh, you, you play at uh, the Scotland Stadium at uh, Yogi Berra Stadium. You know, I'm just wondering, family, friends, you know, come coming to see you play. What are, what are those ones? What what has that been? Uh, just that experience for you as well, AJ. That that must feel really good to be able to come back to the Garden State and be able to, you know, said play uh, uh, there as well. Right. Yeah. It's uh, it's not too far from home, so it's an it's an easy drive for family yeah. and friends whoever want to come. Uh, it's been great having having my parents there, they obviously can't get to, to every game up in uh, Ottawa, but for yeah. those times we did play down there, it was, it was great that they got to come and watch. Yeah, no, definitely. Hey, wanted to ask you, yeah, I'm glad a great uh, segment or segue to your family, uh, your mom and dad, your younger brother, Joey, I want to ask you just what uh, the support that you received from them here in your academic, of course, when, you know, with the academics, but also your athletic journey as well. Just had to ask you about that, AJ. 
Right. They, uh, I mean, they've been there every step of the way. Uh, glad my, my brother's close enough to my age where I can do baseball stuff with him, throw, hit, all that stuff. Uh, my dad and mom have always been supportive of me, no matter what route I've taken for baseball. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it's for a, a lot longer time, but uh, yeah, they've, uh, they've all been great so far, whether it's travel ball, high school, college, all that stuff. So it's, it's been a good them in my corner as well. Okay. Had to ask you this one. Uh, your favorite team is the Philadelphia Phillies. Your favorite, your favorite movie is Major League Two. So, <laughs> had to ask you. You're close enough, of course. You know, uh, to, to Philadelphia and to see the Phillies. You know, doing well now. How, how cool is that? Uh, you know, just uh, you've been down to Citizens Bank Park. I, w- I was just there a couple of weeks ago. Just a, uh, you know, one of the best ballparks I think uh, in Major League Baseball. Uh, just talk about that, AJ. <laughs> yeah, it's it's awesome. I'm only. 15 minutes from the stadium. Uh, I get to go to a lot. Well, not so much now, but when I was younger, I went to a ton of games and try and get to get to a couple while I'm home before or after our season. Uh, yeah. My dad actually works for the Phillies. So, uh, oh, very that's, nice. That's, a good, that's great. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's been there yeah. for a while. So he, it's, uh, it's good to get some tickets from him every once in a while. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, while that's, that's... Go watch, go watch him play. Yeah, that's yes. terrific. Hey, before you get the, the final word and message here, AJ, I, I'm just wondering, I think you're in a great spot to offer some advice uh, to younger kids out there, you know, not only want to play sports, but especially the game of baseball. Uh, what would you say to them? They're, they're, it's mm-hmm. such a, you know, again, a competitive sport and a lot of challenges to navigate. But what would you say to the kids that they're watching this interview? I would just say to keep keep chugging along. I mean, I wasn't I wasn't the biggest kid growing up and that transition from the little league to the big field was a little hard, but I stuck, stuck with my game and didn't, didn't try and do too much. So uh, just kept doing what I do and thankfully it worked out the way it did. Yeah, that's, that's wonderful. Okay. AJ, uh, you get the final word and message here for uh, family, friends, uh, former classmates, teammates at Cherry Hill West high school, UMBC. And then of course, uh, with Missoula and Skylands, but also now here, your current teammates, coaching staff, management, fans of the Ottawa Titans. Uh, I give you the floor, AJ. I uh, just thank you to to everyone that's been there uh, for the past twenty some years. Whether it's T ball, Little League, like you said, high school, college, and now uh, professional. Everyone having my back, staying staying with me, and uh, cheering me along from the sidelines. It's been it's been a great twenty plus years so far. Well said. Hey, uh, AJ, just an incredible honor and privilege being able to interview you. Uh, congrats uh, again on your success. Uh, past now, of course, here currently with the Ottawa Titans and, uh, you know, wishing you and uh, the team uh, all the best, you know, the rest of the way. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me on. Thank you.